What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. I almost said a emerald. Anywho, we did a little bit of training, just a little bit, and I realized that, well, wherever you go, it's not going to be a lot of experience points, especially when you have the experience share. So, this is what we got. Obviously, we got Dark Side at level 29 because, well, we're saving, we're saving that evolution for this gym battle right here. So, yes, like I said, we're going in for a gym battle, and it's one of the toughest ones here in Johto because it's the eighth and final one that we know of. It is the Blackthorn City gym, and the leader happens to be Claire, the blessed user of Dragon type Pokemon. Which, obviously, you know, it's just a funny way of saying that she thinks she's better than everybody. Now, in Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, yes, look at this. Way different, okay? The only man that's ever believed in you is going to be like, yo, champ in the making. The gym has unstable footing. Keep your Pokemon in their Pokeballs. Now, Claire uses the mythical and sacred Dragon-type Pokemon. You can't damage them very easily. But, you know, they're supposed to be weak against Ice-type moves. That is true. So, as you guys can see, we are in a pool of lava, and, uh, well, we have to move this and press onto this to turn, well, to turn these things over in order to get to the next section. And, well, like this guy, uh, well, like he said, these are Dragon-type users, and, uh, yeah, it, it is going to be a difficult one. Now, I did equip Nessie with the Never Melt Eyes because it's going to need all that firepower. Your first battle against dragons. I'll show you how tough they are. Yeah, well, let's see how tough they are. Here it is. We're going to be taking on Ace Trainer Paolo, and he is going to be coming out with his Dratini right here. All right, Paolo, time to uh, time to feel uh, time to feel it. So let's go with a nice beam attack. And well, as many of you guys can tell, these Dragon type Pokemon are not effing around because look at this critical hit Dragon type move loses to an Ice type Pokemon, and of course. Yes, you're going to be coming out with Dratinis all over the place. Now, be aware that these Dratinis do have Thunder Wave. They will try and slow you down any chance they can get. So, yeah, just keep just keep an eye out for that. Be, you know, train your Pokemon up to their level. That way you can actually have a, chat, a shot at beating them and all that. And, well, Dark Side mooching off of our Pokemon. And here comes a Seedra. Now, Seedra, I would have loved if Seedra would have been a Dragon-type Pokemon you know, evolving from a horsey to a Seedra, but they never did that. And then, obviously, going into Kingdra, that's where everything changes. So, here we go, Discharge, and, well, Seedra is a little faster than us. There's that Bublé attack, and, wow, it's going to slow us down right here. So, the biggest thing right here is speed, so just keep an eye out for that. And, well, would you look at that, Discharge for the win, and that is... Exactly how you do it. All righty, all righty. Okay, Paulo has been defeated. He's like, it's too bad. It really is. Okay, bring it on, next trainer. Let's see what you're all about. Dragons are sacred Pokemon. They are so full of life energy. If you're not serious, you won't be able to beat them. We won't? I don't even know. Okay, so here we go. Take it on Lola. And yes, the majority of these trainers are all Ice-type trainer, Or not all Ice-type. I mean Ace trainers. And well... Let's go with the Ice Beam right here. And here comes the Ice Beam for the win. And just like that, Dratini has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Who's next? Oh, Dragonair. Now, here is the evolved form of Dratini. Dragonair. It's a little bit faster. Level 37. And it will try and paralyze you. Luckily for us, yes, we got our Pokemon nice and leveled up. Ready to go. And Nessie for the win. Ice Beam. Wins it. Alrighty. Okay. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there. Okay, so let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing. And it's obvious to me that we have to, yeah, we have to turn this thing around. Okay, so I kind of messed up a little bit right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so there we go. Turn. Turn it around. And... They won't do anything right there, so let's go ahead and turn it around. And one more time. Can it turn around? Yes. Alrighty. So there we go. Off the ledge, and we're ready to go. Let's see what this individual has for us. It's not It's not as if we all uh, use Dragon-type Pokemon. It's about more than that. We're interested in strong Pokemon. That's my theme. Okay. 
Let's get it. Alrighty, so here we go. Two Pokemon. And, well, he wasn't kidding. He's got himself a horsey right here. Alrighty, let's go. Body Slam. Look at this. Body Slam. And that nearly beats Horsey, but here comes the Agility Attack. This will double up its uh, its speed just a bit, so let's go right ahead. Body Slam. Here comes a Twister Attack. Believe it or not, that is, an, or that is a Dragon-type move. And here comes Body Slam yet again. For the win. There it is. And... Well, look at that. Dark side, everything. And here comes a Seedra. So, let's go right back to Fluffvolt right here. Now, we are taking... Yeah, we are taking a bit of a... Yeah, we are taking a bit of a... Whatchamacallit, a risk. By using uh, Fluffvolt, since it's not faster than, you know, this Pokemon and the other Pokemon that we're about to take on. And here comes a Brine attack. And that hits us pretty hard right there. So, here comes the Discharge. And there we go. For the win, say goodbye to Cedra. Alrighty. Okay. And Dark Side grows to level 30. Many of you guys already know what that means. Alrighty. 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 And just like that, we've been waiting for this evolution. Okay. So it took us a few it took us a few, you know, episodes, but we finally did it. Dark Side, of course, we spelt its name wrong and everything. I don't care, but there it is. Dark Side has evolved into Pupitar. And well, does it learn any new moves? No, it doesn't. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Pupitar. And as you guys can see right here, still a rock and ground type Pokemon, but big butt. It does get a boost on its uh in its stats. It's physical attack right there through the roof. Yes, special attacks right there. Just, we got to keep an eye out for its defense because obviously, you know, it's nature and all that stuff. Now, it has a new ability, Shed Skin. The Pokemon may heal its own status problem, which, yes, it's pretty cool right there. All right, so let's go on to the next trainer. And, oh, my God, she has noticed us. I've been training hard with Claire. There's no way I could lose. Hmm. Okay. All righty, so here we go. Take it on Fran. And she will be coming out with her Seedra right here. Probably, yeah, I probably should be switching out right here. There's a chance that we might have to, yeah, okay, you know what, let's go with Togepi and let's speed this up. We'll take a few hits. There we go. Extra Sensory. That heals us. Oh, wow. And, well, yeah, Togepi is not strong yet, but we're going to eventually get to that point. And, well, look at that, we win. Okay, so that didn't work out as planned, and we need to we need to actually get what was it an extra potion right here. So let's go right ahead and give that po or that uh, revive to Togepi right there, and well, let's go with a hyper potion right here too. So we went on a spending spree, and do that, and I don't know why I did that, but let's go right ahead, and just like that. We got another trainer. Now, as you guys can see, there is a teleporter right there. We won't be... Or if you guys need to go and heal up your Pokemon, you can go back and you can start all over. But we're not going to be doing that since we... Well, we equipped each other properly. My chance of losing. Not even 1%. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so here we go. We are taking on Ace Trainer Mike. And he is coming out with a Dragonair of his own. And, well, Nessie, let's do this. Let's go straight for an Ice Beam. And, well, look at that. Okay, alrighty. And that does it right there. Dragonair has been defeated. And, well, we get more experience points. Dark side getting some points. And Mike is not happy. He's just wondering. That's odd. Okay, so this one will actually lead us towards, uh, what's her face? Yeah, to uh, Claire. If you guys don't know, Claire is a bit of a, well, she's kind of stuck up a little bit. And right here, what if you turn right here? And look at that, okay. Turn it again, turn it again, turn it again, turn it again, oh my god. And, oh wow, okay, so, kind of messed up a little. There we go. Okay, so right here, up here, crap baskets. Yeah, we have to lead it towards that little gap right there, and crap baskets. 
Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Crap. Okay. We could do this. All right. Damn it. Okay. Damn it. Um. Okay. Shit on a brick. There we go. Huh. Yeah, this <laughs> this obviously gets me all frustrated and all that stuff. Uh, okay. Oh. Um, okay, so let's see. Hmm. Oh, we can't go there. Let's see. Hmm. I know many of you guys are yelling at me right now. They're like, Draven, seriously? Damn it! Okay. Alright, we can do this again. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm twirling, I am twirling my, my mustache right now. Let's see, what do we go there? Twirl, there we go, okay, you see, you see? That's right. See, Draven's smart, he's smart. Jeez, everybody keeps on yelling at me for no reason. <laughs> okay, so, it is time. Oh, man. All right, maximum effort, here's Claire. I am Claire, the world's best Dragon-type master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine. Let's do this. As the gym leader, I will use my full power against any opponent. Okay, so here it is. Gym battle number eight. Mm, 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 mm. We are taking on Batwoman herself. Claire, look at her. That's right, showing off that booty. And, well, oh, crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. We are taking on a Gyarados. That right there throws me off for a loop because, well, you know... Gyarados, not exactly a Dragon-type Pokemon, and here comes its Dragon Rage. If you guys don't know, automatically takes 40 points, and, well, we're going to take a few hits. We're going to try and paralyze this Pokemon, and there we go. So, let's go right ahead. Not do that. Let's go right ahead and use a Hyper Potion on our Pokemon, because it's one level... It's one one point short from, uh, from, well, from fainting. Let's go right ahead. Body Slam. Body slam. Crap baskets. Okay. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch our Pokemon. And, you know what? Let's go ahead and heal it. Okay, so it's bad management. Yes, I get it, guys. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And here comes a Dragon Rage attack. And we're going to go with a Discharge. Going to give it quad damage just because it's both a Drag or it's both water and flying type Pokemon. And just like that. Gyarados has been defeated. Alrighty, okay, so that's another one. Dark side gets some points just because he didn't do anything. And here comes Dragonair. This is the Pokemon we've been looking for. So let's go right ahead and mess with that Dragonair right now. Alrighty, okay, so here we go. Claire, what's up? Dragonair. And well, since we already have the Never Melt Ice, it's gonna power. It's gonna boost up my Ice that move. Say, alongside with same type capability and all that stuff. I, th I believe that's what you call a stat, a stat move or something like that. And boom, there we go. Nessie grows to level 37 and wants to learn Brine. Not going to do that because we already have a strong enough move. And well, Dark Side gained some points, and she's gonna be coming out with another. Another uh, Dragon-type Pokemon, Dragonair. And, well, let's go Ice Beam Attack. And just like that, for the win, say goodbye. Alrighty. Alrighty, and Darkseid has, uh, of course, gained another, an extra point right there, an extra level. And she's going to be coming out with a Kingdra. Now, Kingdra is a bit difficult because it does have some pretty good moves. It is fast, and, well, one Pokemon left is there. This is where the real battle begins. So, we're going to try and, uh, well, get hit by that. We're going to try and paralyze this Pokemon. And Smokescreen. Let's go again, and, well... We're both going to heal our, po our Pokemon right here, so let's go right ahead and do that. It's a even a even up battle. And, well, let's go again. Dragon Pulse. And there it is. It has been paralyzed. And god dang it. Okay, so we literally have no PP left. So let's go right ahead and use one of them PPs that we actually saved up for. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we got an elixir right here. Alrighty, so everybody got 10, and here comes a Dragon Pulse. And, 
Yeah, it's going to be Lapras versus, uh, whatchamacallit, Lapras versus Kingdra right here. So let's go right ahead, give that there, and here comes a Hydro Pump. Not so effective. Body Slam. Let's go Ice Beam. Okay, this is getting me uh, annoyed right here. So let's go with Flood Volt. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do the same thing. God dang it. All right, take a pre. Let's go. Let's go right ahead and use a charm attack. And go with an extra sensory. And go with an ancient power. Yes, we get beat. So let's go back to Nessie. And body slam this. Now that we can actually see just a little bit. God dang it. Yes, we are going... Yeah, we're going a little fast because this Pokemon right here will not... Okay, we got to... And that was a critical hit right there. So, chances of us beating Kingdra with the next move is not going to be in our favor. And here comes a Hyper Beam. So, it's throwing off... It's throwing everything. And as you guys can see, it needed to recharge. We're throwing off the middle fingers towards you. And she's like, I lost. I don't believe it. There must be some mistake. Well... The mistake is that I stocked up pretty well, so, yeah. Anywho, Claire's going to be like, I won't concede this. I might have lost, but you're still not ready for the Pokemon League. I know, you should take the Dragon Master Challenge. Behind this gym is a place called the Dragon's Den. There is a small shrine at its heart. Go there. If you can prove that you lost your lazy ideals, I will admit, yes, uh, I will admit, admit you are trainer worthy of this gym badge. Well, yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to have to go to the Dragon's Den in order for us to get the badge. You know, she's being complaining. She's being moody and all that stuff. But we did win, nevertheless. And, of course, our mom is going to be giving us some a crowd, like a buttload of items right here. So, let's go ahead and end this episode off with seeing how many items my mom brought. Yes, and the next episode will be us going to the Dragon Shrine and back to Pal or not Pal Town, but Newbar Town and all that. So let's see what we got. Okay, so yes, we are we got a choice scarf. What the hell? Okay, a choice scarf. Koba berries. Shuka berries. And papaya berries or pyopper berries. And charty berries. Okay, so I need to take a look at that choice scarf because that right there is a pretty cool. That right there is a pretty cool one. So let's see. A choice scarf. Where the heck are you? So this choice scarf right here, it is an item held by a Pokemon. This scarf boosts the speed but allows the use of only one kind of move. Which it could have proved useful against Agatha. Or not, not Agatha, but Claire. But I don't know. It's kind of a big, uh, it's going to be a, it's kind of like a big down, a downgrade or something. like. Not, not, not a downgrade, but it's kind of like a bad switch off because what if that Pokemon trainer uses a different Pokemon? I don't know. Anywho, this has been the episode, guys. I know it's been a little bit speedy and all that stuff, but in the next episode, yes, we will be going straight to the Dragon's Den, then to New Bark Town, and taking care of the rest of the stuff later on. Thank you guys again for being as patient as possible. Thank you guys again for the subscriptions, comments, and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Walk or Heart Gold Soul Silver Walkthrough. See you guys.